Okay, this morning guys, we're gonna be testing the Winchester Ranger 40 Smith & Wesson 165 grain. This is a bonded jacketed hollow point. If you guys are looking for the product number, it's RA40BA, box of 50. I did find this local, believe it or not. Uh, it was one of the big box stores, and we're gonna shoot today out of the Glock 23 Gen 4 you guys see right there through four layers of denim calibrated gel. Let's see how this Ranger worked, guys. All right, guys, here we go with that 40 cal, 165 grain Winchester Ranger. It's a bonded hollow point. Let's get it shot and check it out, guys. All right, let's go check it out, guys. Okay, guys, here's that Ranger. Is it one in? Man, we look like maybe a half an inch here, guys. Right away, it blew denim out of the top of that, if I could speak here. This wound track is massive, as you guys can see right there. Looks like it's fully open at an inch. And it's tracking down. That That's a pretty big, pretty big wound track right there. Looks like right down in there, I mean, a lot of humidity today, guys. Typical Texas. Looks like we're down to about the nine inch mark. And then it streamlines itself out. And we're going down, going down. And it looks like the front edge of that is right at 16. Let me get that up out of there so you guys can see it. Okay guys, we got that 165 grain up out of the gel. Look at that, pretty damn good results right there. 16 inches penetration. Expansion looks pretty massive right there guys, pretty massive. That flowered back really nice. Of course, I'll get weights and measurements in post. Let me get that side cut for you guys. Winchester Ranger, 165 grain, bonded jacket at hollow point. I'm liking what I see, guys. I'm liking what I see. Awesome round. Let's get it cut open and check it hey out. guys, here's that side cut of that Winchester Ranger. 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain. Remember, this is a bonded jacket at hollow point. And you guys can see right there, that's some damn good results right there. That thing punished this gel. That, right across the top here, just the top part. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way. That's two and a half inches just there. You get back down to this side track. You can see there was a lot of shock right there. And it just keeps going and going. So we're, we're, we're talking like a half an inch down to four and a half. That huge shock wave that just hit the media right there. And then it keeps going on down. Yes, it, it's slowing itself down at this point. Still twirling in, still cutting. And it looks like right at about the seven and a half, it starts to streamline out. And of course it goes down to its resting spot at 16 something, you guys seen that earlier. That's a pretty badass round right there, guys. Let me get this up out of the way. And there it is again, the Winchester. 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain. Pretty badass round, guys. That's a hell of a wound track. Hell of a wound track. Once again, Ranger showing itself it's pretty badass round. Get weights and measurements and post. Okay, guys, here we are at the post of that Winchester Ranger, 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain. This is a bonded jacketed hollow point. I did test this, I believe, in 180 grain, and that was back when it had a different look to it. That was in the yellow box. And the new catalog, Winchester, it's in the law enforcement section, and I don't have my catalog here. Everything is in the black boxes now. Part numbers are pretty much the same. It's RA40BA, same round. Uh, it's the same as the PDX round or whatever. I just think they load it to different tolerances, low flash powder, stuff like that. Fired this today out of a Glock 23 Gen 4. Great results. I, I, I'm really impressed with this round. I really like this round a lot. This round, low recoil. That was, that was the biggest thing. The recoil on this was very, very low for a 40 Smith & Wesson. And I'm very recoil insensitive, let's put it that way to begin with, because I shoot so much. Recoil doesn't bother me. But 40s can be snappy. I will admit that. 40s can be snappy at times. And this round was not. This round turned out awesome. That thing flowered back huge. I mean, if we're talking max expansion, it was like 810. It averaged out. I think the damn thing averaged out at like 759. This is a 40 cal. This isn't a 45, this is a 40. Massive expansion on this bad boy here. Sporting a nickel case. 
Yeah, basically it looks like the, the PDX-1. It looks like those bonded overruns. Definitely it's not the Talon rounds. It does kind of look like a little bit, but you can tell from looking at the back side of this round that it's definitely not the Talon series or something else is going on with Winchester that we don't know about. But once again, th 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 I love this round. I like this round a lot. I mean, this thing, you know, kicked ass. 16 inch penetration. You guys seen that in the video. Permanent cavity was massive. Like half inch all the way down. I think I said in the video seven and a half. If you really look at the video, it goes down to about nine before it really streamlines. Weight retention, spot on. 164.4. Complete weight, really. I mean, nothing, nothing major there. Flowered all the way back. You can see the little pedal in the middle if I don't blur your guys' eyeballs out by getting too close to the camera there. There's the backside. Of course, you guys will see that close up here in a minute. Awesome round, guys. The velocity on this was the only thing that uh, I, don't, I don't know what Winchester was testing. They're probably a five inch barrel. They got this thing rated at 1140. My five shot average, 1109. So I'll throw that up there like I always do. Uh, I think my, my low was 1104. And I believe my high was like like 1120 or something like that. I'll, I'll throw it up there if, if, if I got vid of it. Uh, no big deal there. It is a little low. Of course, you know, this is a mid-size Glock. It's not a full-size Glock. So they're probably testing out of a 5-inch barrel. You know how companies do that stuff. New look, black box, the Ranger series, law enforcement ammunition. I bought this in a big box store. You don't need to show a badge to buy it or anything like that. Awesome round, guys. I really love it. Awesome round. Did its job. Went in there and kicked some ass. That, that wound cavity itself is proof that this round did a damn good job. Winchester Ranger, 40 Smith & Wesson. 165 grain, mid-grade mid range, weight-wise, for 40 cal. Kicking ass today, guys. Once again, part number. RA40BA. You guys have a good one.